welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, what I do know is that hopefully you're watching this in black and white. If not, oh, welcome to Technicolor. <clears throat> This is the continuation of my pick series and I am delighted that today it is the stars apart couple of myself and the beautiful Anya that are collabing today. So, if you want to find out exactly which picture we chose And what this looks like in glorious Technicolor. Then my friend, you are in precisely the right place. I grab a drink, and grab a snack, put your feet up, and enjoy. Hey, well, <coughs> welcome back from the intro. <clears throat> I would have told you in the intro, but this is now episode. 39 um, of my my photo inspiration series which to me is it's amazing um, when I started this series I kind of thought I might get to maybe 10 or 11 um, but I wasn't sure I knew I liked the idea of it and I thought well it might end up just being me doing inspiration from pictures perhaps other people wouldn't be as interested in collabing with me over it but it has grown legs and it has run and i'm so happy about that i love the fact that a pain somnia 3am in the morning idea has proved so popular with all of my friends here on youtube and today it is the stars apart couple of myself and anya who are collabing on uh, this one um, it was my turn to choose the photo so um, I sent a whole selection across um, to Anya for her to choose which one she wanted and she selected this gorgeous rose now I'm looking at it on my screen to me the colours that I see I'm seeing a beautiful, I'm just going to stick my phone onto airplane mode, which will hopefully stop it from buzzing, fingers crossed. Right, what I see on there is I'm seeing beautiful purple down the side, obviously. I'm seeing a deeper purpley black down the opposite side. And then the flower itself, I'm seeing this gorgeous William Morris bluey, greeny, tealy, turquoisey shade on the on the actual um, petals. And then on the leaves, I'm seeing a very, very, very deep, deep purple. So I have pulled four palettes today. <laughs> Because I was swatching all of my different shades, trying to find the ones that would work the best. And believe it or not, it was one shade from each of these palettes. Yeah. Obviously, Alien, Conspiracy, Mini Controversy, or Controversy, and the Mini Breaker. So... Let's get it started in here. Uh, the shades that I'm going to be using from each of these, if you were wondering, I will go through it before I start, is Controversy. This one here. Uh, Bite Me, which is a shimmer. What's the tea? And 
then a combination of Area 51 and Black Hole, I found that those two combined gave me the closest to the right hand side of the picture as you look at it. Okay, this is still a teaching channel. My chronic pain means I cannot blend as quickly as most people and I want even absolute beginners to be able to follow along. So if I'm going too slowly for you, YouTube has a widget up there. Please feel free to use it and speed me up. Right, let's get you zoomed in. I'm going to talk you through the difference between hooded eyes and deep set eyes like I always do. And then I'm going to start lobbing some colour onto my lids. So, uh, those of you who know what I'm about to say, if you want to fast forward to the point where uh, you see me wave a brush with some colour on it, feel free to do so. Face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. Today I've gone in with a bit of my W7 Princess Potion. This is the dupe for the Fasali Unicorn Tears thing. It's just a really nice... Um, I like to put this on between... Because obviously I do all my moisturising and my SPF, I let all that soak in. Um, but it's just nice to, to pop this on, just to... Particularly this time of year when my skin... Although it's oily combo, I do get uh, dry patches down the sides of the nose here. My temples can go a bit dry. You know I suffer here and here. So it's just nice just to pop that on, just to kind of re up the face. And then obviously my usual antiperspirant primer that I use that I get from Amazon. More details on that and why I use it are in the film. are in the film linked in my description box. Right, let's get you zoomed in. Oh, this hurts leaning forward today. I really must find out how to do this from my phone. Right, um, my usual chrome pebble eyeshadow primer. Uh, again, I do have a discount code for that. I don't earn cash from it. I earn pebbles that I can offset against um, other products in the store and that's how um, I can get new things to test out for you. Right, when I look straight ahead with my brows relaxed you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see much of it and today this part of my lid is a little swollen from fibro so it's, it's nearly covering the mobile lid but not quite. <clears throat> So I don't have hooded lids. It's only if your upper lid completely covers right down to your lash line, part or all of that mobile lid, that you have a full or a half hooded lid, or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'll demonstrate on this side. This is the eye that I'm blinding, so it means I can be sure I'm still on screen and in focus. If I cover the visible mobile lid this side and close my eye, you can see I've got as much, if not more, lid that tucks back away out of sight that you don't see. Then if I cover the static lid and do the same thing, you can see I've got static lid that folds back in as well. And it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour, especially shimmers, onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease, I have to cut onto the upper lid, not just through the socket. And if I'm choosing to wear glitters, very rarely, even with glitter glue, I'll get a bare patch right through here. Which is why so many people with deep set eyes think they have hooded lids, but the work around for the eyes are very, very different. So if you think you've got hooded lids and you've been following all the guidelines for it, and you're still not getting the kind of look you want, it could be because you've got deep set eyes. If you've got hooded lids, get a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush, and sketch out on your static lid a new crease line. Now obviously this will reduce the space between the crease and the brow. So use slightly smaller blending brushes and if necessary take the colour right up to the brow. If however you have deep set eyes like myself, what we need to do, whichever colour we're putting through the crease, the deepest shade usually, just stop, 
relax your brows and just check you've brought it up high enough that you can still see it when your eyes are open. So, two very different methods for dealing with two very different eye shapes. Now I'm going to be using my Do Colour, D-O-C-O-L-O-R brushes that I got from AliExpress and I am going to start off in the mini controversy or controversy palette and I'm going into controversy or controversy. Um, I hold the brush right at the very end so I get as little pressure on my lid as possible and I start off with little circular movements. Now there's quite a bit of kick up on this as you can see but I just tap off I'd rather spend the time building up than dealing with fallout, even though I do my base afterwards. Um, and it just means I can pick that loose product up next time round when I need to put up some more of that colour. Right, so I'm going to start off with little circular motions in this direction towards the nose. bit of a bounce when I get there and then reverse the direction to come back again. I'm going to do this and gently build the colour up all the way down. <clears throat> so, Anya, if you're a regular viewer of mine you will have seen that I have collabed with Anya on a number of occasions. We have done single collabs together, like this one. We've done uh, joint collabs with Nona, where we are the bitches of Eastwick. Um, she's also in the um, the triple A. I think she's in the AAA group. I'm sure the AAA group is her. Anyway, and we've also been in a lot of larger group collabs. So you will have seen her a lot. And she is one of my closest, closest friends here on YouTube. Um, I absolutely adore the woman. I really do. I've always said that I'd love to sort of take a cruise across to America I don't, I don't do I don't do flying full stop I'm just going to deal with a little bit of that fallout because it is just it's mithering me let's pop a little bit of primer back on Yes, so I always said I'd love to do like a, a cruise across to America and um, and then hire a vintage caddy, one of the ones with the tail fins that look like rockets, I think that was the 52, might have been the 54, but I bought it in powder blue. And uh, I would just travel around America and meet up with all of these wonderful people that I've collabed with and I've, I've got such good friends with. And, you know, Anya is absolutely going to be top half of that list. Um, we, we have very, very similar outlooks on life, which always helps. Um, and where I'm up at stupid o'clock with pain. Very often we're up at about the same time and we can sort of you know we've had we've had chats through Facebook Messenger. And she's like, oh show me the new palette you've got. I want to have a look, I want a sneak preview. Um so yeah it, she's she's just such a lovely woman. She's she's got a dog called Jeffrey Star which I absolutely adore. I love the fact that she's got a dog called Jeffree Star. 
um, and I think probably Anya and uh, Jessica from Stars Hollywood Jessica are probably the two people that I know with the biggest makeup collection. I mean, I thought I had a palette addiction. Girls got some palettes. I would absolutely love to have a rummage through her palettes and do a collab with her. But, for the time being, we have to suffice with collabing like this. But she is just such a lovely woman, she really is. She's just... She's kind of the... She's absolutely the collab queen when it comes to YouTube. And she will collab with you if you've got six subscribers, 60, 600, 6,000, 6 million. She doesn't care. If she likes your personality and she likes the sort of makeup looks that you do, she'll collab with you. And I love that about her. Um, she's always trying to give smaller channels a boost up, which is just the nicest of things to do. It really is. I really like this colour. I just want to put it everywhere basically, but I need to stop because I need to a different colour now but I don't want to do a different colour now but I have to do a different colour now I'm having a moment can you tell is it obvious is it I think it might be right I'm just cleaning this brush off on a clean washcloth because I really do not like using colour shifts or colour switches um, they're so hard. I used to use them a lot. But they are so hard on your brushes. Uh, it's much, much better just to take the excess off on a clean washcloth, which is what I have just done. Right, I'm now going to go in. This is clean. I'm just rubbing it on the washcloth to make sure it's just stained. It's a much more, um, it's a more tapered brush that comes to a point. I'm going to grab Alien. Love this. And I'm going to dip in between Area 51, which is the purple, and a black hole. To do the really, really deep side. I'm going to start off by tiny, 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 tiny little circles. Oh, that looks more black than purple, doesn't it? Let's take some of that off and add a bit more purple in then. Let's see if we can blend that out with a little bit more purple. Yeah, tiny little circles through the crease there. And just, this is what I mean about checking you've brought it up high enough. Just going to continue to blend that with some purple. Yeah, you know, Anya is just, she really is the queen of the collabs. She's just, she's so giving of her time and of her experience and her knowledge. Um, She really is just, you see all this hoo-ha with the bigger booty gurus that have all the, all the issues and all the drama and you just think, do you know what, the micro makeup community is really not like that. You know, we support each other. We don't. We don't think our oh, collab with that person because they've got X number of um, followers, and that will help me get bigger. We, we collab with people because we like them. Um, you know, everyone is so supportive of each other, and it's it's what the beauty community used to be. Right now, I do have super deep creasing here. 
and when my eye got pulled around as a kid at the ophthalmic. So unfortunately I do have to stretch this out to get rid of the tiger striping there. The other side I don't need to, the circular movement does it for me. Because obviously it gently makes the skin of your eye around. But you can see I only pulled that out for as far as I needed to and let go as soon as I could. I'm just taking all the colour off of this brush. I grabbed the previous brush actually and just buff where the two colours meet just to blend those in together a bit more because there's nothing on this brush. I'm just blending those edges together a bit better. I don't want it quite that editorial. And you can see it does actually take some of the excess powder off as well, which is good. Just to soften. There we go. That's more the look I wanted. Now I do get more fallout with this eye because it's, the skin on it is looser because it got pulled around so much when I was a kid. Um, unfortunately that's... There's not much I can do about that now. This is just a pad with uh, some micellar water on it. Just gonna... Do a quick little tidy up before I continue. Just so I can see where I'm at, if you know what I mean. Alright, I'm going to grab some of that Area 51, the purple. I'll just pop that on the very edge there. And just blend the, the black in with it. That's already there. So I'm not adding more black, I'm just... Blending down what's already there. I like that. I like that a lot. I might actually not use the deeper purple. I might just go straight for the uh, the William Morris teal. Do you know what I haven't done for ages? I haven't done a cut crease, have I? Maybe I could do one of those for you today, what do you think? She said trying to find her brush that she does cut creases with. Right. Now, I know a lot of people are scared when it comes to doing cut creases. And I completely understand why. They can be very, very intimidating. Um, especially if you're not very experienced. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a super, super easy way of doing a cut crease. I'm just going to pause you while I find the right brush. Hold on. Right, I am back. Now, the brushes that I use are actually designed for doing acrylic nails. But I love them because they come down super, super thin, look like that. And I'm using the number 10 here, which I believe means it's 10 millimetres wide. I'm not entirely sure. Now, I'm going to show you the trick to make it super easy to do a cut crease. And I promise you, this will work. Get your concealer. Just load some up on your brush. Okay. Now I'm going to use a little mirror just out of sight here, just so I can see what I'm doing. And then what you do, you put a reasonably thick amount of concealer 
in the area that you know is going to be part of your cut crease. Okay. And open your eyes, relax your brows, blink a couple of times, and it copies up for you exactly how high you need to go to cut the crease. And this is what I was meaning about having to cut onto the upper lid when you have deep set eyes. If you need to go back in and pick up a wee bit more concealer, do so. You will get a certain amount of the issue that you're seeing here where the colours are mixing in with the concealer. But wipe the concealer brush off. Wipe the brush off. And then just very lightly pat and drag all the way across. And what this will do is it will pick up any excess concealer that would mix in with the shadow we're about to put on it. Always if you're using creams clean your brush off as soon as you've done it. it saves you an awful lot of time when it comes to the clean up. Now I'm going to go in with a Jeffrey Morphe lip brush. This is the JS24. And I'm going to go into What's the Tea, which obviously is a matte shadow. I'm just going to pack both sides of the brush. And just very carefully pack this on. to the still slightly damp concealer. And when you get to the edge here, I just use the tip of the bristles just to sort of buff and blend the edging. There you go. Perfect cut crease. Right, I am going to do the other eye. Now, I don't normally speed anything up on my films, but because I don't want this film to be ridiculously long, I will speed up doing the cut crease on the other eye and just pop some music on for you. Um, if you want me to do a dedicated video where I, I go through doing a cut crease in real time, then let me know. Okay, let's continue. Thing I can go on a support spree I, I, I can't 
you, but you know it's gonna be for a beat. Jeffrey, snap a pit, open PR packages. Laura, I love that lash. Sponsored post, yet I need cash. Manny, we're looking hot. House is full of shit I bought. Nikita, we'll turn you on. See you whores at BeautyCon. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. So perfect and my time started. Right. There we go. One completed cut crease. And as I said, um, that is actually the easiest way to do a cut crease. Because your eye shape will show you where you need to cut to. Because you can see on both eyes I've had to cut a slightly different shape because your eyes are not symmetrical so you probably will find at least initially you'll end up with very very different shapes but this is one of those ones where when you've got nothing else to do and you've, you're just a little bit bored and you've done all the housework this is the thing that you can do to practice just putting it on trying a cut crease taking it off putting it on trying a cut crease taking it off. Right, I'm going to pause you and I am going to pop some foundation etc on and I will be back to finish off this eye look. So, uh, I will see you immediately darlings. Hello, I am back. Right, I'm going to go into the mini break palette with this brush. And I'm going to go into it very carefully into Bite Me because that is a shimmer. And obviously now I've done my base, I really, really don't want shimmer down my eyes. So I'm just going to run this very, 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 very lightly along the lower lash line. Sort of pull out the, uh, the deep, deeper purple spines on the leaves in that picture. I love this mini jaw breaker palette. Really do. And then this is the Tarte Graveyard Girl brush. Brilliant, love it. And I'm going to go into a purple punch. It's the perfect shape for blending out because it's flat top but it's chunky. And purple punch is a matte so I can go a little bit heavier with that without worrying about tapping off on the brush too much. Just to soften the lower lash line and give it a little bit of schmocking because let's face it who doesn't want a little bit of schmocking on a wet Wednesday morning which is when I'm recording this right I have got that was the one I used the other day there we go I picked up a Beauty Glazed Highlighter in shade 08 Peach that I haven't tried yet. So I thought, let's give it a go. It looks very, very pretty as you can see. Ooh, it's still got plastic on the mirror. I love peeling those things off. Now, this is a lip brush that I bought from eBay probably a decade ago now. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this up under the tail of the brow. If you've had to bring your 
um, shadow right up to the brow. You can still pop a little bit of highlight over the edge of the shadow if you want to. And then, hmm, it's not very bright on the inner corner, is it? Oh, I don't know. Might be okay. My white balance is going up and down like nobody's business because it's, as I said, it's a it's a wet Wednesday. It's super super cloudy out there. I'm just going to grab my Juvia's highlight just for the inner corner because I do like my inner corner to have a bit of a pop there we go that was um, the tribe highlighter volume 3 if you're wondering okay I am going to pause you one last time while I chuck some more of this uh, beauty glazed highlighter everywhere and I will be back once I've done that and added some mascara and some lippy and uh, something with my hair I'll be back with my finished look I am back uh, this highlight needed setting spray under it before it would glow uh, to the extent that I wanted it to glow so that's going to be one of my wear it unnatural uh, makeup day that I'm doing. So I got fluff right up my nose. Hmm. Uh, the mascara is the Catrice Glamandol Waterproof Volume Mascara. Alright, just checking I haven't got lipstick on my teeth. Um, it is a dupe for Benefits Bad Girl Bang, considerably cheaper, and it's waterproof. And the lipstick is one of the Sophia Nygaard Colourpop ones in a Bury Me in I think it's Bury Me in Lipstick. Yeah, Bury Me in Lipsticks. I love this. I love the fact that it's got bats all around the tube and imprinted on the actual bullet itself. But I will put the picture back up here. That is the beautiful rose that has inspired today's makeup look. What do you think? How have I done? I made a good job. How would you have done it differently? What palettes from your selection that you've got would you have used to pull out these colours? And how would you have done it? Would you have made it more of a blue look with an accent of purple? Or would you have gone like me, gone really deep with the purple and then used the, the sort of teal as the accent? Let me know. I'd really, really love to know. Right all of my wonderful 4F family once you've done the usual hitting the like, leaving me a comment maybe even sharing the video, that would be lovely thank you, please double check you're still subscribed, even if I am still in your news feed because there is no guarantee that you haven't been unsubscribed I've lost I think 3 or 4 subscribers so far this year marvellous great start to 2020 but once you have done that, I'm going to need you to go across to the beautiful Anya's channel. And I'm going to need you to go and watch her film and see exactly how she has interpreted that particular picture. And obviously do all the good YouTube things over at her channel as well. Leave her a like, leave her a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Let her know that you're here from the 4F family and uh, just spread the love because we are the nicest family on YouTube. If, however, this is your first time here from Anya's channel, hi, hello, welcome, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope I didn't blether too much at you. I've got an awful lot of other films if you did want to check out a few more before you decide whether or not to subscribe, but it would be lovely to welcome you into the 4F family ranks. And that is very easy to do, just hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell and hopefully YouTube will actually tell you when I upload a video. Right, my darlings, all that remains for me to say as ever is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time.
Bye for now.